Okay, for this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML figure tag. The figure tag also includes a caption tag. This will allow you to add an image in your layout that will also include a text caption. So what you have in front of you is just a simple layout that I created. And I'm in live view right now, so let me flip to design view. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to add that image right here. The image has already been cropped, and I know that the image is 250 by 250 pixels. That's going to become important in a minute here. My cursor's right here, and I'm going to go insert HTML figure. Insert HTML figure. When I do that, I get the figure tag and nested within the figure tag is the caption tag. And what I want to do is add a selector to the figure tag so I can actually create a box that is 250 by 250. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in my CSS designer. I'm going to add the selector. My cursor's right here. Okay, so it's saying you want to format the figure tag that's in the news article that's in the container. That's exactly what I want to do. And what I do want to do is be in layout properties and I want to make the width and height the same as the image. And I know that the image is 250 pixels by 250 pixels. Okay. I also want to make sure that there's enough padding all around my image. So I'm going to come down here and add 10 pixels of padding all around. All right, now that I've got those properties set, let me move the CSS designer out of the way. And when you enter the figure tag from the, the get-go, it puts this placeholder text in here. I don't want the placeholder text. So I'm just going to hit my delete key my cursor is right here, and I'm going to insert the image. I'm going to go insert image. I'm already in my image folder. The image I want is right here, and I'm going to open it. Okay. Now that the image is in there, what I want to do is float this image to the right. So it ends up right here rather than down here. So I need my CSS designer again, and I'm going to go to the layout properties, come down until I get to the float property, and I'm going to float to the right. Okay. There it is. And now what I want to do, I actually want this placeholder caption text, but I don't want it to say this is a caption for. Rather, I'm going to pretend that this is an image of my cat Bates. So I'm just going to go, going to type in meet Mr. Bates. All right, let me go ahead and preview in the web. All right, I could go back and create a selector for this text as well. Um, maybe I want it to be italic. So let me go ahead and do that. And it's also Times New Roman, I could change that. So I'm putting my cursor right here. I'm gonna create a selector for the figure caption. Here it is, I'm gonna go into the text properties and maybe I'll make it Gil Sands like the rest of my text, and I'll do a font style of italic. Okay. Let me go ahead and preview on the web. And there you go. That is using the figure tag. Again, I could do the same thing on the other side. 